guys, it's Sam. So today I am going to be doing a drugstore, like trying new drugstore makeup. So basically I tried to find as many cruelty free products as I possibly could. There are a couple that I am using in this video that are not cruelty free, but for the most part, everything is cruelty free and it is all from Walmart. So you guys can find these very easily on walmart.com. That's where I ordered mine. They were all two day shipping. So the shipping was super duper fast. Um, and most of them are by the company found which is I think fairly new to Walmart, um, but I picked up a bunch of different um, like products from that line. And then today we are also gonna be testing out the Born to Glow NYX foundation. This is a naturally radiant foundation. I first saw this from my cousin when she came out to visit me last October, and I actually like meant to get it and then I kept forgetting. And then I also found the concealer. This is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. So we're gonna be putting these um, foundation and concealer to the test. Um, I'm actually filming this at the end of the day, uh, but I'm gonna be checking in throughout the day to, to like let you guys know how it's wearing and um, kind of how it's holding up with my oily skin. If you guys are new to my channel, my skin is very, very oily. However, we did recently just move back to a dry climate. So my skin is kind of adjusting at the moment. It's not quite as oily as it normally is because it's like, oh, what's going on? The skin is very dry or the air is very dry here. So it's still oily, but it's not like super duper oily like it was when we lived in North Carolina because North Carolina is so humid and my skin was so so oily oily there that like everything always like, felt like Vaseline on my face so um, it's definitely a little bit drier but still definitely on the oily side I also have a lot of um, kind of texture not texture but like yeah, I guess texture like divots and like big pores and like obviously smile lines around this area of my face. Um, I've got quite big pores on my forehead and like some fine lines and wrinkles. I've got a lot of little wrinkles coming in over here, a little crow's feet and my pores around my nose are actually really big as well. So I don't have the most ideal skin. So today I'm going to be testing out a full face of drugstore makeup for you guys from um, my foundation all the way through to lips. So you're going to be seeing me applying all of these today on my face and then doing a little check-in throughout the day and letting you guys know how the foundation and concealer is holding up. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much to Walmart for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to partner up with them again for a beauty video. I, I love doing their fashion videos. They're really fun, but it's always really fun when you get to try out new drugstore makeup as well. Um, especially when it's a new brand, like I have never tried anything from found and I've never tried this foundation and concealer. So it's all like brand new stuff to me. And it's kind of fun, like trying to find like little treasures, like drugstore treasures. And sometimes I feel like you can find like really, really affordable dupes for like high end products that you already use, or just like products that maybe not necessarily are dupes but just like wow these are really good and it's way cheaper and then it's always nice when it's a lot cheaper if you can replace a very expensive item with a more affordable item all of this stuff was very very affordable i think for everything shown here including the body wash which you guys will see in a minute i think it was like 133 dollars um so it wasn't bad and i think that was with tax so it wasn't very expensive at all um and i did use the body wash which you guys will see in the next clip this morning and it was lovely i would definitely be repurchasing that again the smell is kind of like oatmeal um almond and honey mixed together so it's kind of like breakfast it's actually really nice and it lathers really really well my skin felt really moisturized it was just like such a nice body wash it lathered so so beautifully so i highly recommend the body wash I'm going to link everything down below, but Walmart has basically everything you could ever need as far as the beauty department go, goes. A few of these items are exclusive to Walmart. They have a bunch of high-end brands on there. They have perfumes, like a lot of fall perfumes that are lovely. They've got um, like Obagi skincare. They have like a lot of like higher end lines. So there's a ton of different stuff to choose from with uh, Walmart. It's not just drugstore nowadays. Like you can get high end, like Laura Geller. They have NARS on there. So basically they have like so many different options, but I really wanted to stick with a drugstore option for you guys because I know that you guys like the affordable things. And like, honestly, who doesn't? Like I love affordable. If I can find good products that are super affordable, I'm all about that. So. I'm really happy with these items and um, I kind of share like what items I would recommend or like I would continue using and which items I'm like, mm, maybe not. So there's eight items that I'm like, absolutely yes, would definitely use again. And there was one, two, three, four, 
five items that I was like, mm, I don't know. So I think that's pretty good odds, but yes, let's go ahead and get started. I'll link everything down below for you guys, as I mentioned before. So if there's anything that you see here that you think, yeah, I need to try this, all of this stuff I found online and it shipped to me in two days. And I just feel like it's so convenient. Order online, it comes to you in two days, boom, you're done. It's so easy. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so here are the items that I chose. So my cousin actually wore this foundation when she came to visit me and I've been meaning to try it out and then I honestly just kept forgetting getting. Um, also they have so many shades that it's a little bit like overwhelming as to like what to choose. I ended up going with the color buff. Um, I'm quite pale at the moment because I haven't self tanned in forever and I haven't been out in the sun forever. So hopefully that will fit or fit, but you guys know what I mean, match. And then I also got the born to glow concealer. This is in the color, what is it? light ivory. So I got those. And then as far as powder goes, I got the found translucent loose setting powder. And that's just like a loose powder. I also got the makeup setting spray from found a blush. This is like a cream blush tint in the color 10. I got a baked bronzing powder, um, in the color 50, a illuminating highlighter, the Instant Glow Highlighting Palette. I thought that might be kind of pretty to play with. We got a Shape and Define, Define Brow Pencil, a matte liquid lipstick and liner in the color 01 Caramel. I just thought the colors looked so pretty. Then I got a Mint Lip Balm with Peppermint Oil. And then this is by Found as well. It's the Brow Highlighter Duo in the color 105 Twinkle. And then I also picked up the Kiwi Botanicals Nourishing Shower Gel with Manuka Honey. Okay, so I've moisturized. We're gonna go ahead and try out the NYX Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation. I got the color buff. I'm super pale at the moment, so hopefully it works. Um, so my, my cousin actually used this, and I think this is more of like a glowy foundation, which you guys know I'm kind of a little bit oily, but um, my skin is actually quite dry at the moment because we moved to Tahoe and it's like, what's going on here? So we're just gonna go ahead and hope that this works. Mm, it's looking a little bit yellow. I actually think the color is actually gonna be okay once we like kind of blend it out down the neck. I think it's gonna work. It's a little yellower than I am at the moment, but I don't think it's too ter terrible. It's actually going on nicely with the fingers. I just feel like if you wanted more coverage, you probably would wanna use a sponge. Um, I really like the Juno and Co Velvet sponges. I think they're super nice. It's like actually very dark today. So the lighting is not the greatest for me, but I think in the camera it's looking pretty good. So all is good. And lately I've just been using my fingers for foundation anyway, because I've been using something a little bit less coverage. Yeah, this color actually is looking quite good. After I'm done swiping, I will just kind of pat like this, this dog. That way there's no like streak marks. Okay, this is actually looking beautiful. Like so, so good. Foundation did quite well. I probably could have blended it out a little bit more down here, but we'll just blend it out with bronzer. Next, we're gonna use the Radiant Concealer from NYX. This is the Born to Glow. Do not mind my dog. She's probably, probably barking at a squirrel. They've been loving the wildlife here. We have like a huge window. Actually, we have a lot of windows. So they can see a lot more. Plus there's like actual like birds and like creatures around here. So they've been having a lovely time looking out the window. Oh, this comes with a little sponge tip. So I'm just gonna squeeze some out. And then, oh wow, that came out quick. So this is in the color light ivory, I believe. I. I feel like it's gonna work. I think it'll be okay. Maybe a little bit lighter than the one I normally use, but we can make it work. It's actually really pretty. It's kind of got a like nice glow. This is supposed to be a radiant concealer. Wow, that's actually really beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of blend it all out here. Look how pretty that is. That's actually a really pretty concealer. I don't know how it's gonna hold up on my oily skin. Like obviously 
these two products are probably not the greatest for my skin just because I am so oily and they're more radiant and I'm pretty sure my cousin has dry skin so they looked absolutely fabulous on her but they lasted so beautifully on her skin and it looked so skin like like she did not look like she was wearing foundation she just looked like she was perfect so I've honestly been meaning to try it for so long and then I just I don't know what happens I just forget I guess <laughs> And the shipping was so fast with all of these products, guys. So that was awesome. So there we go. Concealer looks beautiful. I'm very happy with that. I think it looks lovely. We're going to go ahead and move on to our powder. So this is the Found Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I think it's just, you know, all one color because it's translucent. So it does come with like a little sticker. It doesn't look like it's going to be a pore filler. Um from what I can see, but we'll we'll give it a go. It looks like it might add like more coverage than I'm used to. But at least it'll set everything. I feel like this foundation, sorry, what's going on with this lighting? This foundation, like you can see the radiance coming through, especially from the concealer. It actually looks really, really pretty. This powder is definitely doing a good job of like letting the radiance come through, but also like mattifying. I'm liking it. And I never put powder on my nose. I just feel like it doesn't look that good. It makes my nose look all like crusty and gross. So I never really do that. We've got the Found Baked Bronzing Powder in the color 50. So this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a nice like baked kind of swirl, like think Laura Geller type situation. Ooh, it's pretty. It's actually a lot. It looks really light in the packaging and I was like, this is not gonna work for me. Like this is gonna be so light, but I'm actually really pale at the moment. So it's probably good. And also, I don't know what's going on, but I have all these like little bumps all along my forehead, right here and all here. And I'm thinking that it's something that I'm washing my hair with, which is weird because I switched back to my Body Shop banana conditioner and shampoo. And then I noticed I started getting all these little bumps, which I don't remember having before, but you know what? Maybe I did have them. And then my skin got so clear when I stopped using it that I didn't realize how skin, how clear my skin was until I got the bumps again. I don't really know, but I have all these little bumps and it's kind of been making me like not even want to wear makeup to be honest, because it's been like, oh, they're just like so bumpy and annoying and I hate them. So I'm just trying to get rid of them. So I haven't really been wearing makeup much at all. Now it's dark again. So I'm just gonna bring this bronzer down a little bit just to kind of give me a little bit of color and then blend that foundation into my chest because I am paler than pale at the moment. Okay, that bronzer is actually really beautiful. I actually really like that. I'm very impressed. I think it looks, oh, you know what? I just realized I had a cream blush and I didn't put it on before I put my powder. Eek, that's super annoying. So the problem is if you put your cream blush on after you put your powders, it looks super weird on me. And I'm a little bit nervous about that. I'm just gonna have to like test it out. That's the color. It's actually really pretty. Oh gosh, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess it up. I'm too nervous, Eek. too nervous you guys, so. That is so annoying. It looks really beautiful, but I can't, I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Oh, I do. I have an e.l.f. one. e.l.f. is cruelty free as well. And this is the color Always Cheery. It's a primer infused shimmer blush. It's actually really beautiful. It's a gorgeous coral color. So normally I would have used the cream blush, but you have to put it on before powder. Otherwise it looks weird. So I'm just going to very softly that this this stuff is so pigmented i always think oh i'm just gonna barely put it on and then i'm like whoa blush isn't it pretty though it's just like so like corally and it has like a bit of a sheen to it so it's actually really pretty i put way too much on but it's fine now we've got some highlighters i've got a couple of different ones this is the found illuminating highlighter with rose hip and lemon extract this is in the color it doesn't say it just says illuminating powder so we're gonna Give this one a go. It's a little dark, so I just want to see what it's going to... Oh, well, it might be okay, actually. Let's just tap it off. 
Okay, so it's like a really pretty champagne. Oh, it's actually really gorgeous. Okay, it is picking up a little bit of my texture, but right now I do have quite a bit of texture, like I said, like all around like this area of my face. This does not wanna focus, does it? I like have way more texture than I usually do. Also, like I haven't really been like keeping up with my skin because I haven't been wearing makeup. I haven't been actively like washing my face at night and then putting all my creams and serums and everything. I've just been like never wearing makeup and like, you know, taking a shower and then getting up and like I just haven't been like really taking care of myself very much. I've been so busy unpacking. So that could be why. It's weird. I changed my shampoo and then I noticed I got the little bump. So I don't know. Could be a quinky dink, but who knows. That's actually really pretty. Um, it's given like a really pretty glow. Look how pretty, pretty that is. That looks gorgeous. I like that. And then I'm just going to kind of very softly just go over with like whatever was left on my powder brush. Just to kind of blend everything in a little better. I have a brow pencil. This is from Found. It's the Shape and Define Brow Pencil with Kiwi and Bilberry. And this is in the color Universal Taupe. So hopefully it will be fabulous. And this lighting is going crazy right now. One minute it's dark, the next minute it's super bright. Ugh, oh, this is just not cool. Okay, so it has a little spoolie on one side. Um, and then on the other side, you have your actual pencil, so. Feels a bit waxy, to be honest. I don't know if I like it. Like, you know, when you can't really get anything happening. Yeah, it's just a bit too waxy. It might be okay for like this section cause it's like really like light and like doesn't put a whole lot of color down. But for the tail end where I like need color, it's just a very like waxy feel. So I don't know if that's gonna work for me. Hmm, I don't know about this. I'm just like not loving it. Yeah, it's just like not really doing a whole lot for that section. So I think it's quite good for like this section and like even like filling in, you know, the part where you have hair. But if you don't have hair, it's not gonna be something that you would want to use, I don't think, because it's just like a bit waxy and it's not putting down a whole bunch of color for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and like touch up with the one that I normally use. Oh, it's kind of created like a little bit of a waxy base now. Okay, yeah, so that brow pencil was a bit of a fail. I don't love it, but it's fine. We tried it, we gave it a go. It was quite good for the front bit, but mm, I don't love it for the rest of it. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and put a little bit of lip balm on. This is the Found Mint Lip Balm with Peppermint Oil. And we're just gonna do a little bit of that. It's like so pepperminty and really smooth. Well, that's like sitting on, because my lips have been really, really dry. We're gonna go ahead and take this little doodad. This is the Found Brow Highlighter Duo in 105 Twinkle. So it's basically like a dual-ended pencil if I can get it out and one side is matte and then one side is shimmery so you can basically like so you can kind of like carve out your brow and like clean it up really really well actually I need a smaller brush for this hold on and then it just like makes your brows look like really crisp Wow, check that out. That worked great.
Okay, that makes your eyebrows look amazing. Like, look at that. They look so crisp now. Love that. I am, you can use a little bit of shimmer if you want. Like, this is the shimmery side. So I'm just gonna basically put that like, wait, was that the shimmery side? Yeah. I'm just gonna put that right kind of here. And then I'm also gonna pop that right in the inner corner. And that's just gonna like brighten up your inner part of your eye. I might just do a little bit there. And a little bit here. And I'm just going to softly blend that out. Okay, that's like very subtle. It doesn't give you a whole lot of shimmer but it does give you just a little tiny bit. Then I have this little palette right here. This is called the Found Instant Glow Highlighting Palette in the color five. So we're just gonna open this up. So you've got kind of like a soft pinky color, a brownish color, and then a gold. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do the gold. We're just gonna pop that right here, just to add a little pop of gold to that inner corner. Then I'm gonna go back over it with this little highlighting palette that, or the highlighter that we used on our cheekbones. Cause I think this one's a little bit brighter. We're just gonna very carefully do that. So it kind of makes it more of like a champagne. I'm just gonna kind of set that highlighter right there. With that, just cause I'm oily, I don't want my lashes transferring. Okay, now for my eyelids, I'm just gonna go back in with that bronzer. The um, palette was gonna take a little bit longer to get here, so I figured we would just create a very simple look, and this is basically how I wear my makeup every day anyway. It's just like a nude kind of bronze, not bronze, but like just kind of taupey color. Not taupe, I can't think of the word. It's kind of like a skin tone that's like a little bit darker than mine right in the crease. And then it just kind of like lifts the eye a little bit. I've just been trying to do like really minimal, like very, well, honestly, I haven't been wearing makeup at all. But when I do wear makeup, it's like a very natural, nothing major. So it was kind of raining this morning. And now it's kind of looking like it might do that again. Which is good because I feel like it might help with the smoke. I'm going into this darkest part right here. And I'm just kind of like adding a little bit here. Just to add a little bit of like a cat eye shading. Then we're going to go in with that highlighting palette. And we're going to take our finger and just use this pink one. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the lid, just to add a little bit of a glow there. So as my primer, my lash primer, I'm gonna use a L'Oreal one. Unfortunately, L'Oreal is not cruelty free. So I forgot to get a mascara. So I'm just using the one that I normally use, but found um did have a, a mascara that looked quite nice i'll link it down below the shipping was a bit slow and so then i was like oh i'll pick something else and then i forgot to get something else so we don't actually have a, a drugstore mascara and right now all of my other ones are packed so we're just working with what we have right now folks this last few weeks is a bit of a been a bit of a jumbly mess, to be honest. That primer actually worked really well, and this mascara is just amazing. For the lips, we have a little duo. So this is the Matte Liquid Lipstick and Liner from Found in the color 01 Caramel. So the lip liner looked so pretty that I thought, well, I'm just gonna give it a go, even if it is a matte lipstick. I don't normally really like matte liquid lipsticks. You guys know my lips are just so small and dry that it just makes them look like really small and dry. So normally I don't really like to go for them. I'll try it on for you guys and then we might just follow it up with a gloss, but this lip liner looks gorgeous. Okay, so this lip liner is really light. 
it's not doing a whole lot, to be honest. Maybe it would have worked better if I didn't have the lip balm on, but it's pretty light. Yeah, okay, so it's working a little better. I think with this, I definitely should have not put the lip balm on after or first, but it's just a soft little light pink. It's actually really gorgeous. Like the color is really pretty. Okay, this actually smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. It's in the color 210 Caramel. That's what it looks like. It's actually a really pretty soft kind of nude. It's not too much at all. I'm gonna let that dry down. It feels like really smooth and creamy at the moment. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Found Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray with Red Tea. I picked this up because it was mattifying and I knew that this foundation was kind of more of a glowy one. So I'm gonna shake it up really, really well. I'm actually really happy with my makeup. I think it looks really pretty. I'm really very impressed. Oh wow, that smells really strong. The chemicals on that one are quite intense, you guys. It smells like hairspray, to be honest. My brother is texting me to go to break fast. So I'm just gonna, I need a little bit more. Oh yeah, the scent of that is too strong. I don't like the scent of it. It's not very natural at all. I definitely see like the glow coming through of this foundation. I think it actually looks really pretty and like very skin-like. Um, I might, once this is set, just add a little bit more blush right here, just on the, just kind of higher part, just to let lift, like elevate my face just a little bit. This, this lip color doesn't, it doesn't really dry down to feel like dry. I'm gonna go ahead and add that lip balm on top just because um, I am feeling like it just needs a little something. I just, I don't know, matte lips on me, I just, I don't love it. But the color is gorge. This lip balm smells so yummy. Okay guys, so there is the final look. It's a very natural look. I'm actually loving this foundation. I think it looks super beautiful. The blush and highlight looks gorge. Um, I actually, I'm very impressed with this little brow pencil thing. That looks amazing. Like my brows look really just like, you know? So I'm gonna say my favorite products out of everything were, so far, don't know, we'll have to check in later. The foundation and the concealer I think are absolutely lovely. I really like those. I love this highlighter. I think that's awesome. I think the bronzer was absolutely beautiful. This little brow highlighter duo, love that. I'm just gonna get real close to the mirror. Wow, it looks really skin-like. Everything looks really beautiful, actually. I am quite impressed with that. The foundation looks gorgeous. The question is, how will it hold up throughout the day? Powder is actually really pretty. I thought that it was like not gonna be very nice, but it's really pretty. It looks very skin-like. I think it did a good job of smoothing. So those are my favorites. Um, I would say I'm not a huge fan of this one. I think it's okay, but it's like nothing special. Um, the matte liquid lipstick, not a huge fan of just because I don't like matte liquid lipsticks. The lip liner looked really beautiful when I swatched it on my hand. I think I should have just put it on before the lip balm. So I'm gonna hold on to this and try it again and see like what happens when I don't put a lip balm on first. And then the lip balm feels really nice. It's like nice and glossy. It's super yummy of peppermint. And I mean, who doesn't need a lip gloss? And then the brow pencil was definitely a fail for me. Did not like that. Um, probably would not use it again. Um, and the setting spray, I mean, it might work amazing, but the smell of it is way too strong of like chemicals as like smells like you're spraying hairspray on your face. So this one is a no-go for me. It is 10 o'clock, if you guys can see that. No, you cannot. 10 o'clock. What's going on here? Did you guys see that red light? That was weird. That was so strange. Anyway, 10 o'clock. So I'll check in. I'm about to go to breakfast with my brother and Lindsay. Um, I'll probably check in after I pick up the kids and then we'll see how it's wearing. But as of right now, I'm very impressed. I think this foundation is beautiful. The concealer, it looks lovely. And I feel like it's a really pretty natural look. So winning. And there is the look with my hair down. So I don't look quite as crazy with my little hair towel on, but um, yeah, I'm actually really impressed. I haven't worn makeup for like such a long time that I'm feeling kind of like, whoa, this is weird to see me with makeup. But the lip liner I wish was a little bit darker. 
because I don't really feel like it's like enhancing my lips very much but I do think it's a really pretty nude color if you're not worried about like making your lips look bigger so off to breakfast I go well first I need to get dressed and then I'll be getting breakfast okay so it is now 4 4 49 so it has been on for 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 almost seven hours um so it actually looks like pretty much just as good as it did when I, I have not touched it I have not blotted or anything today um I did have a mask on earlier because I had to go to the kids school and pick up some stuff for them and then I went to breakfast with my brother and so I had a mask on for that part so I have had a mask like on and off and I feel like honestly it hasn't really disrupted my makeup much having that mask on which I know like the masks are just not ideal for makeup are they I mean there's a little bit of collection in this section over here which Let's see if you guys can tell. Yeah, you can definitely see the collection when I get up close um, around like this area. So that's not ideal. Um, the concealer, let's see up close here. Yeah, so the concealer has kind of creased a little bit and my mascara has kind of like bled down a little bit. And then it is, oh actually it is a bit collected in the forehead kind of like up here. Can you guys see that? Um, so when you get up close, you definitely start to see like things collecting and like on the nose, it doesn't look ideal. It's looking a bit yucky in this section. So when you get up close, there are definitely things that I would be like, mm, don't know about this. Definitely doesn't look as good as my normal foundation does um, seven hours in around those areas, but I think for a drugstore option, and I am really oily, so a lot of the things that will like collect on me will not necessarily collect on you because if you don't have really oily skin, then your oils will not break apart the foundations and then start to like move and collect into the areas. So I think overall, like when you just look in the mirror for having it been on for seven hours, it actually does look really, really nice. The glow is pretty, it's not too oily. I was really nervous that I was gonna look super greasy, but I don't. Um, there's definitely like a do to where I look like quite radiant, but I wouldn't say I necessarily look super oily. Now I am in a dry climate now and my skin is adjusting. So I am a little bit dry at the moment, um, but I'm still oily. So if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I feel like overall it's actually done quite well. I did not like the lip, uh, the lip color felt really dry. I also did not really like that chapstick. So after wearing it all day, I felt like my lips were getting drier the more I was putting it on, which was kind of weird. So I would say a no to this one and a no to this. Let's go ahead and add that lip liner now that I don't have a lip balm on underneath and just see if we can get this lip liner to go darker. I feel like this lip liner is like literally the exact same color as my natural lip color. So it's actually like very natural looking. So I actually do quite like the lip liner, like without putting a lip balm on. This is the NYX Diamond Drip Lip Gloss in Princess of the Day. So. I feel like if you're looking for like a super like exactly the same color as your natural lip color, I mean obviously it depends on your skin tone. But for me, it is like the exact same color as my lip color, so I feel like it doesn't really do a whole lot. It's like a very natural look, but I need more. You know what I mean? So I don't know about the lip liner. Um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a beautiful color. I think if you're more fair, it would be absolutely gorgeous and it would give you that just enough to where you would have like a really good nude lip color. But I think for me, it's just too close. The matte liquid lipstick and the lip liner are just a little bit too light. Um, it didn't really do a whole lot and I don't really like matte liquid lipsticks. I really just got it for the lip liner, but I feel like the lip liner is just not quite enough. It's just, it's too, is too natural looking. Lip balm isn't my favorite. I don't love it. I don't think it's the most hydrating. So I would say probably skip on that one. 
Um, I would say skip on this. I don't think there's anything special about it. Maybe that makeup setting spray did do quite well today. I don't know, but the scent was quite strong. So I'm on the edge of that one. On the edge, on the fence. Found brow pencil was a no-go for me. The items that I will be keeping are the Born to Glow foundation and concealer. I think especially if I mix these with one of my other like more long wearing ones, they would actually be really beautiful. So if I mix it with like a Revlon Color Stay, something like that, I think I could get really good like mixture out of it. I'm keeping the powder because I actually thought that the powder did really, really well. I'm gonna keep this little brow pencil because I love the way that made my brows look. This is amazing. I'm definitely gonna keep that little highlighter. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm definitely gonna keep the bronzer. I think that is super pretty. The, br the blush, I obviously haven't tried. Actually, now that I'm a little bit oily, I feel like we could actually add a little bit to the cheeks. Oh, it's kind of more like a matte finish. It's like not super like wet feeling, which is quite nice. Gives you a nice little flush. It's actually quite pretty. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. It's like a lovely color. And the texture is actually quite nice as well. I just want to kind of pat it out and see if it's like movable. Do you guys know what I mean? Like some foundations, if you try to move them again, if they have like kind of collected, it's disastrous and you're better off starting from fresh. Whereas this one, I'm gonna have a look. Yeah, my forehead definitely feels a little bit oily. Yeah, it didn't really disrupt it very much. It kind of just like, kind of just like sorted it out. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. So if you do need to like do a little kind of, you know, pat pat with your finger, it actually like blends it out really nicely without like disrupting and like making it look all like mangled. So I think the foundation is really good. I'm actually quite impressed. And I think I would be very interested to see how it works on normal or normal to dry skin because obviously I am oily. And my cousin, I think, is dry or like at least normal. And it honestly looks so beautiful on her. So if it looks this good on me with oily skin, I can imagine that if you have normal or normal to dry, that foundation is going to look absolutely beautiful on you. Because I'm so impressed that like this is a radiant foundation and concealer. And it ended up lasting and looking this nice on me because that's actually really hard to do. Also, this lighting is so weird. I'm so sorry. This... It's like merp. Um, but there you guys go. Let me get in the light for you. We might as well take advantage of the fact that there is sunlight in here at the moment. So I'm just going to close my eyes because I'm being blinded. But that is what the foundation looks like in sun. And this is what you look like when you try to squint and you have Botox just doesn't really work. Your eyes just get smaller and smaller. But like when I'm looking in the mirror, I mean, other than me being like quite oily, which I don't have like a, I don't have anything to blot me, but like in the actual sunlight, it looks so skin-like. It looks really, really beautiful. Botox is so weird, isn't it? Like, look at me trying to squint. That's so strange. Um, it, yeah, it just looks like really, really, it's so funny, like you cannot blot the oil off. I'm trying to do it with my hand and see. Do you see how like even though I've blotted, there, there's still like a ton of radiance there? The sun is already moving. Oh, here we go. See how there's like still radiance? Are you guys being able to see that? But anyway, yeah, it looks really beautiful in sunlight. I feel like that's a true test is if you go outside and it looks really pretty in the sun, then you know you have got a good foundation because sunlight can be really, really harsh. My sideburns are all stuck to my face because I'm oily. Look at that highlight though. That highlight is absolutely beautiful. Blush is really pretty even though we added it. What's going on with this light? It's like the sun is moving behind trees. Yeah, 
It looks pretty. I'm really happy with it, you guys. I think it's really beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Of course, I will link everything down below for you guys. So if there's anything that you guys see here that you want to check out, um, I'll link it down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I'm trying to like find a, a full sunbeam or a full shade. Yeah, there isn't really any. Bye.